Okay, so I'm going to make the first half of Bee Girl. I have all of my oils melted with my butters and mixed with my lye water solution. And I'm going to pour off some in my spout cup. And I'm going to make these orange this time with some Hungarian paprika that I have infused. So I have all my butters and oils melted to a light trace mixed with the lye water solution and the only color is going to be this infused spirulina. I'm going for a dark green to make it look like grass and this time the scent is going to be hyssop essential oil. I had used Hysip before on the last batch of Mother Earth and she will be back in a few months as well but she'll have a different smell. And hopefully that'll all go well but for now Hysip will now be the scent for Bee Girl. I learned that the Hysip flower is one of the flowers that bees and butterflies and other pollinators really like so that's perfect for this. And it just smells, oh, it's, it's one of my favorite essential oils. I The first time I ever smelled it, I had to sit down. It was that good. It was like, whoa, that's heavenly, literally. And I'll put a link to my Mother Earth video where I describe the, kind of more the mythology of Hysup and how it was mentioned in the Holy Scriptures so many times. And there's a reason for that because it just... it. It's the smell. It's just, oh my goodness. And it's very highly medicinal plant too, and medicinal flower. So that looks really good. I don't know what it's going to do with this oil, so that's another experiment to see. Let's pour that in. And give it a good stir. And don't ever be put off by spirulina if you think that it might smell as fishy as it does when you open the package of it. It doesn't smell like that when it goes through the saponification with soap and particularly when you add your scent. It just it won't have that smell anymore. So don't be scared of it. It makes a really, really nice green. So it's totally worth it. Okay, so I'm back to place the flowers and the bees. So I have two different shapes on the flowers, as I showed you in the little clip at first. There's that one, it's kind of like a, a, like a mum or a dahlia, and then it's kind of sunflowery, daisy shape. And then here's my little bees. They're just made from soap dough and painted with activated charcoal. So these are pretty heavy so I'm just going to kind of delicately drop them. If they sink, I want them to sink so that's good. Hey, 
go and these are colored with Hungarian paprika which I think I mentioned when I made them <laughs> not sure <laughs> and then here goes the little bees ready to pollinate that flower and get some nectar okay so I'm back to unmold the bee girl and I can't tell you again how good they smell. Super cute. And the green is still pretty dark green, like grass green. They might lighten up a little bit more over time too. I just love this bright orange that you get with paprika. It's such a happy orange. Makes me think of summertime. And these will be ready on the summer solstice, which is, as most people know, the longest day of the year. And so Bee Girl and the Farmer's Market Soap and a gift set for summertime that I'm calling the Birds and the Bees will be ready for the small shop update on the summer solstice, which is June 20th. The shop links will be listed below. Sorry about the baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please think about liking and subscribing if you like naturally colored soaps. I make new designs every month and I restock old favorites like Bee Girl. Take care.